At 5 o'clock, we told you that we spotted state elections investigators in Bladen County for the first time since news of possible fraud in District 9 surfaced. Well, now at 530, we are expanding our investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker spoke with former Governor Pat McCrory, who says the state should not be surprised by any of this. Yes, Scott, we've spoken with a lot of people over the last several days, both in politics and out, who are stunned, frankly, by that investigation in Bladen and Robeson counties right now. But former Charlotte mayor and North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory, well, he's not one of them. This is a fiasco that could have been prevented. Pat McCrory could have seen this coming. The former governor told me he doesn't know McCray Dallas, the man in the middle of the vote fraud investigation in Bladen County now. But he says he had raised concerns about fraud in Bladen County during his reelection campaign two years ago. Those uh, complaints were well known in 2016 and there are obviously some who didn't want to investigate it. McCrory says he's watched like the rest of us as the scandal over the way absentee ballots were handled in Bladen and Robeson counties has grown. We just sort of uh, sit in a hurry up and wait pattern right here for us. The man in charge of Mecklenburg County's elections told us McCray Dallas had come into their office last year consulting for a city council candidate. But there's no evidence of any fraud here in Mecklenburg with absentee ballots in that race or the 9th district race. Nothing that I've seen. Nothing that I've seen. But McCrory says it's time to seriously consider rethinking the entire absentee ballot process. Frankly, I think it ought to be eliminated except for members of the military. There's no need for absentee voting anymore, uh, especially now that we have uh, early voting in North Carolina. Now, Mark, you also spoke with a former Republican candidate for city council, Pete Givens, and he told you he paid Dallas 800 bucks for help with his campaign last year and that Mark Harris arranged for those two to meet. Yes, yeah, Scott, I spoke with Pete Givens today on the phone. He's actually in Alabama, but he told me he's surprised his name has even surfaced in all of this, and it has because, as you say, he did hire Dallas to do some consulting for his campaign last year. Givens told me on the phone that he's known Mark Harris because he's a member of First Baptist Church here in Charlotte, where Harris was the pastor for many years. And when he decided to run for city council last year as a Republican in a heavily Democratic district, he talks strategy with Harris, specifically getting out absentee voters. And that's when Harris suggested he speak with Dallas. Mark told me about this guy's process of, you know, that he had a process, he didn't know what it was, and he was going down to meet. He said, because maybe this is something you might want to do. And I, my assumption was that meeting was the first meeting he had with him as well. And Kevin says if somebody has done something wrong down in, Bladen, down in Bladen County, whether it's Dallas or somebody else, they should be held accountable. But he's also convinced that Mark Harris, the man he knew as a pastor, knew nothing about it.